Hello YouTube friends. I almost never have a double unboxing, but two bags that I've been waiting for happened to come today. And so I thought, why not? So I've already opened the bag and the box just to allow for ease of filming so I'm not wrestling with it. So the first bag you can see is from DSW. And this is kind of interesting. I've never bought a bag from DSW before. I've only bought um, footwear. But they had a special coupon that they sent me for my birthday. This is my birthday month. It hasn't happened yet. And so, of course, I thought, well, I'll see what they have in the way of bags. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. My allergies are bad. Um, so I was pretty surprised to see that they had a wide range of different brands. They had a lot of fossil bags. Um, I think they had Steve Madden. They had the sack. And so I found a bag that I have been looking at for over a year now. I looked at it on Nordstrom Rack's site, and then they ran out of the color that I wanted. <clears throat> so I found it on DSW, and they had the color I wanted. So this is how it arrived today. All I did is open up the bag, and look at this. They don't even put it <laughs> in any wrapping. It's just in the bag. No padding at all. Isn't that crazy? So beware, they have really good buys, but they do not wrap carefully at all. And this is from the sack, and it is the De Young Hobo bag, and I just love it. I think it is beautiful, the colors. It's kind of a mushroom brown with snakeskin and then a kind of light taupe color. It's all leather by the sack. And... Um, <clears throat> It doesn't have any um, hardware on it, so it's very lightweight. just has a zip top. It is stuffed. Check out the stuffing. So it is a new bag, but it's almost like they just took it directly off the rack and just stuck it in a bag <laughs> and sent it on its way. So... At least I didn't pay a lot for it, but for a leather bag, you would think they would give it more care. So it just seems to have one zippered pocket on the back. And it looks like it's pretty good size. It just has little gel packs in there. And then the other side, looks like it has two good sized um, slip pockets. And then a nice chunky zipper. Let's see how that works. Oh, very nice. And then it has a slip pocket on the back where you can put a phone. So I think this will work out really well. It's super lightweight. It's got a few little scratches on it that probably happened while it was shifting around in the box. But the leather is really nice and soft. It's super lightweight. I don't think this would even be a pound. And that this, The only branding on it is right here. It says the sack. But I do like the hobo style in bags. And uh, I like that it doesn't have any hardware that, you know, weighs it down. <clears throat> so again, this is the Sack Hobo, and the style is De Young. And oops, this is real focus. The regular price on it uh, is $150, and with all of the discounts I got. I think it was right around or right under $50. So that's definitely worth it. So I will be reviewing this bag after I use it so you guys can see what it's like. So that's number one. Number two, whoops, number two, I'm sure we all recognize BBI. Got this from I Love Dooney. They had a great sale and I'm so cheap lately. I don't seem to get anything unless it's at least 70% off and this one was it ended up being almost 80% off when I factored in uh, my Rakuten uh, percentage off as well so that's a really good site I resisted joining for a long time but it's great I've already gotten uh, cash back payout once and another one is coming in May and it really does work well I mean why not when sometimes these sites have 10% Rakuten discount on top of what your other codes are and it also gives you coupon codes that I didn't see on the actual sites for even more off so I think it's been great I have the link in the description box below if you want to join 
So this one, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I love this. I have been wanting one of these domed satchels for a long time. And I was, get this out of the way. I was kind of, um, let me get all these bags that are pieces of paper out of the way from the last bag. Um, I was kind of thinking about a zip zip satchel, but I really like having a zip pocket on the front. And this one came up in the red and I just fell in love with it. This is the um, domed zip satchel and it's in a new leather for me. I haven't tried this yet. It's the Wexford leather. So it's really smooth and I thought it looked interesting. I'm so used to just my Florentine satchels or pebbled leather. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I really like the um, Vachetta trim on it because it reminds me of uh, Louis Vuitton Alma very much. And I like this one better than the Zip Zip satchel because it's a similar setup, but you have the zippered pocket on the front. And then instead of zipping all the way down with those weird flange things that hang out on the zip zip, this only goes midway. And then the crossbody strap hooks on the sides instead of on the handles. And I like that so much better. And this looks like it's in great shape. I've had really good luck with things from I Love Dooney. I've gotten really great bargains from them. They come in good time and they seem to always be really nice quality. Oh, that is beautiful. My little story behind falling in love with this red color. Here's the... So it was originally uh, $2.98. I did not pay that at all. Got a very good deal on this. And this is the um, domed zip satchel in the Wexford leather, which I rarely see. But my story behind falling in love with this red color is it reminds me of a pair of boots that I wanted really badly when I was about 10 from the Spiegel catalog. And they were women's boots, so they wouldn't have fit me. My mom wouldn't get them for me, of course, because they were women's boots. And they had like a high-heeled wedge in kind of this color. <laughs> And I've always just pined away for those boots. They must have been awful looking. They must have been hideous. But they were shiny and red leather. And I wanted them so bad. So when I saw this, it just reminded me of them. And I thought, ugh, it just has so many good memories for me. So let's see what it looks like inside. It's got the two zips that come down. Very nice. Got the Dooney and Burke little dust bag. And then they always roll up their strap so nicely and attach it to the key keeper which I really like you can always count on them doing that <clears throat> they take so much care before they send things out all haphazardly so that you get something that looks really nice when you get it because it's actually new and not the return like some companies do they seem to get returns back on defective items and don't even look at them and ship them right back out to paying customers full price. So I'm happy with I Love Dooney. I have not had any bad luck with them so far. So you have one of those nice straps that's the three-piece strap so that you can make it a crossbody or you can take out the middle section and make it a shoulder bag. So this is going to be great. I really like this bag a lot. And then you have the key leash, which is traditional. Let me just hook this on and just see how it looks onto these side pieces here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is really pretty. It just reminds me of a red Alma bag. I love that Vachetta trim, too. Usually on my uh, Dooney bags, I've gotten, they have the Sierra trim which is a little bit the darker more brandy color this is a nice size pocket it will definitely fit my phone nice pull on there and then inside a lot of paper that i will be cleaning up off this floor when i'm done with this i don't usually do unboxing videos <laughs> 
all these little packets. Okay, so inside there is a lot of red. It's all just the traditional Dooney layout with a slip pocket that's big on the back. I usually like to put my phone in this. And then you've got the zip pocket and the cards, the paperwork. And then on the other side, you have a smaller slip pocket and a larger slip pocket. And that's it. It's just that Dooney red fabric. It's really pretty and it looks very spacious. I think I will like this bag a lot. It's beautiful. Perfect condition. Look at that leather. It's just a true, true red. Nice, bright, vibrant, true red color. I think it's a little, um, I'd say less blue than the uh, Coach 1941 red. Let's see. Let me put that in the shot with it. So here's the 1941 red, which is a little bit darker. And then this beautiful true red, but it's not as obnoxiously bright in person as it looks on the camera here. It's just really a beautiful true red. Very pretty. I like that. Very nice. Okay, so those are my two new bags. And I ended up getting them for less than the price of one of the bags that I had ordered and didn't come last month. <laughs> if you heard my saga in one of the other videos, one of them I was scammed on Etsy and got my money back as soon as they discovered that the seller closed their shop immediately after making a bunch of sales. <laughs> and then um, another one I had bought a bag from Coach that was messed up in mailing because they didn't package it right and sent that back and got a return. So anyhow, both of these were about the price of one of those. So I feel like that means it's almost a wash, right? <laughs> so I look forward to trying these out and I will film videos of what's in my bag with each of these later. But so far, I'm very happy with both of them. Very nice. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.